So as current assets have non-current assets as the counterpart, uh, current liabilities have non-current liabilities as the counterpart, only you're more likely to see them referred to as long-term liabilities. And basically long-term liabilities are any obligations that are not current liabilities. Uh, but I'll give you a more specific uh, way of thinking about it. So they're obligations uh, that do not require, so not require use of current assets so like things like cash and so forth current at, do not require the use of current assets to extinguish them or and they do not require uh, the creation of current liabilities of current liabs I'll just abbreviate there so they do not require those things so basically these are liabilities that are going to be dealt with uh, at some point in the, in the distant future. Uh, so something to think about is again that kind of has to do with the firm's intention to an extent. So let's take the current portion of long-term debt. So current portion of long-term debt. So this, let's say the firm has some bonds and there's an amount that's about to come due this year. Let's say, let's say there's a thousand dollars that's going to come due this year. So we call that the current portion of long-term debt. Well, what does the firm expect to do? Does the firm want to use current assets uh, to, to satisfy uh, that current portion of long-term debt? Is it going to take cash and pay this $1,000? Uh, if so, then this current portion of long-term debt, even though it's associated with maybe a 30-year bond or something we no normally think of as long-term, uh, since we're going to use current assets uh, to pay that portion, then that current portion would be a current liability. However, if we're going to refinance that current portion uh, by issuing more long-term debt, then in that case it would be a long-term liability uh, because we're not using uh, current assets or, or the creation of other current liabilities uh, to extinguish or deal with that obligation. So it has to do to an extent with, with the intentions of the firm, uh, but there are some common themes uh, excuse me, some common uh, things that we see uh, delineated as long-term liabilities when we, when we take a look at the balance sheet. So let me just uh, give you a brief list, and this, this isn't uh, meant to be exhaustive, but you normally see financing activities. And by financing activities, I'm talking about uh, bonds, uh, long-term leases, um, long-term notes payable, uh, so, so those are the types of things that, that you'll see uh, ending up in long-term uh, liabilities. Um, but, but you also have things like that arise basically from the normal operations of the firm. Uh, for example, there might be some kind of uh, deferred taxes. Um, there might be some kind of uh, pension expense uh, or pension liability, excuse me, that, that that the firm has, and that's basically just due with the normal operations of the firm. It, it has a pension for its employees. Um, and then also you could see contingencies, things that you're not sure, is this actually going to be, uh, is this going to require a sacrifice of assets down the road? You're not sure. Uh, you go ahead and, and you, you report this contingency. It could be uh, something like a lawsuit, or it could be uh, warranty expense that your or warranty liability that you have for the future and so you have some kind of contingency and and it's long term in nature you're it's, it's not going to require the sacrifice of current assets and another thing that bear bear in mind is so when you see current liabilities uh, on the balance sheet there's not necessarily going to be a lot of disclosures but but long term liabilities will have a lot of disclosures particularly uh, you'll have things like the lease terms You'll have things like the interest rate for the bonds, the amount of years that the that the bonds are going to be, uh, uh, the, the, whether it's 30-year bonds or so forth. So you're going to have a, a large amount of disclosures. Even if there is some kind of lawsuit or something, then you'll have even the terms of that or what, what they're expecting to happen, who's suing them, and so forth. So it would be, in some cases, very, very lengthy and detailed disclosures uh, regarding the long-term uh, liability section of the balance sheet.